Namaste one and all. Today we are going to discuss what is science. This is a big question. What science is? So it's a highly uh, debatable and highly discussing question. What is science? What is the nature of science? So now let us uh, try to answer the question what is science so first of all let's see a definition it's a standard definition for science the intellectual and practical activity encompassing the systematic study of the structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment so that's somewhat comprehensive definition for science so it's systematic study which is intellectual in nature involves practical activity regarding structure and behavior of the material world the physical world as well as the natural world about the environment Uh, its life or through systematic procedure or systematic activities such as observation and experimentation so a somewhat uh, restricted uh, definition systematically organized body of knowledge on a particular subject so when we uh, we are categorized science as various subjects uh, nowadays it's are uh, behavioral sciences chemical sciences biological sciences earth sciences all these are uh, becoming uh, in the terminology under the terminology sciences so a body of knowledge of a specific subject also can be defined as science so in another uh, way or in the simplest way science for all in science as a way of life so that's the that must be uh, the definition for uh, science for all so science for all is highly significant especially in the context of a pandemic a present pandemic and there uh, may be the future also with uh, different kinds of such infections so let's try to explore the nature of science so the science we are already uh, seen that it is intellectual so it need some kind of application of intellect so in every step of our life we have to use our intellect to be scientific so that's the nature of science why we are how we are uh, utilizing our intellect that depends on how much we are scientific or not and it is systematic there are a sequential there are sequential uh, steps sequential procedures sequential uh, process sequential activities everything is there so it's systematic there should be a specific point of beginning there should be successive steps and it will end at some specific point and all these should be recorded and revisited and it can be reviewed so this it is systematic then it's dynamic science itself is said as a dynamic body of knowledge so it's dynamic so it's not uh, rigid science is not uh, rigid it's 
dynamic and cumulative it is not fixed uh, more and more ideas are added up as a result of observation as a result of experimentation so it's cumulative new things will continually added to this science it shall be in the form of processes or in the form of devices in the form of technologies uh, in the form of theories etc and its procedure so the procedure how to uh, do that's very significant then what to do how we are uh, doing uh, a thing how we are conducting uh, an experiment how we are uh, writing an answer all these uh, having its own science so how to write is uh, significant than what to write or how to eat is important than what to eat that process of uh, eating process of writing process of doing some other things so everything has a scientific procedure so that procedure that how to do things properly so that's another uh, nature of science which uh, influence how far to what extent we are scientific and it, it is to be practiced so it is something to be applied in our daily life not only in daily life but in every moment of our life so science is for that every moment of our life science is there so how we uh, follow these uh, steps how we apply these things in our daily life then changeable change can be changeable all the time because cha- the uh, classic term of science itself is change everything changes except change is the concept of science nothing is permanent and perfect on the base of new a new observation and uh, inventions everything can be modifiable and it's a huge body of knowledge so that's a product of uh, science about science is a uh, huge body of knowledge so various kinds of knowledge we are already told uh, seen that is cumulative so new and new information are gathered new knowledge is generated so it also can be a body of knowledge knowledge about something so that's very essential for a science to apply how to uh, we have to uh, do something we have to practice something we should have some basic knowledge of uh, about ethic if you are uh, suppose uh, most of the people nowadays using mobile phone so the basic knowledge about that device how to use it uh, and how to use it scientifically both are uh, extremely different how we are using it and uh, uh, whether we are using it scientifically these are uh, two different things so such uh, required knowledge or significant knowledge so science is uh, about some significant knowledge knowledge which is significant for the better life of better life on earth or for better living not only human beings but also our planet so such knowledge so these aspects influence the nature of science and uh, to test or verify how far we are 
scientific. So the aspects such as intellectual, systematic, dynamic, cumulative, procedure, uh, practicable, changeable, and as a body of knowledge. Now let us examine the changes that happen to science through time. There are whole debates nowadays about traditional science and modern science. Is it true? What is the difference in a nature of science when we talk it as traditional or modern? So there is no point in debating like science in the past and science in the present. Because science is always a way, a way to knowledge, way to seek accurate and correct knowledge. So whether it is in the past as well as in the present. So there are unnecessary uh, debates or unnecessary claims or unnecessary conflicts on the basis that the traditional science is better and modern science is better and uh, such kind of both the periods both the time period has its own uh, prospects and problems advantages and limitations so that kind of but whatever is the nature of science has changes significantly in modern times because science for all too is restricted to scientists and then to companies that's a major shift happens to science because once the science was when we observe the development of the evolution of human uh, civilizations at the initial stage at the nomadic stage the science is the way of life way to to get food, to collect food for hunting or to preserve food material, then for uh, gathering, then to understanding seasons, to understanding natural calamities and how to uh, cope up with climatic changes. All these things uh, were targeted for all people and later uh, when human beings settle down for agriculture and uh, when the population increases, become more and more colonized, more countries, more uh, communities, disparities increases. And then naturally the science for all was restricted to science as the job of scientists, a group of people who are responsible to do uh, science for something as science for all people. And uh, their inventions and uh, their discoveries which are in any way influence human life that is sponsored or taken away by companies. So that's a major a change in traditional as well as modern time when we talk about science. Then growth of science. So in our day-to-day uh, -day life practices, we shall see so many uh, scientific activities uh, which is transmitted through generations. Various things. In daily life, uh, we practice so many things which are not uh, studied in our uh, through our schools but from our family tradition because many uh, things are developed in such a way or in transmitted in such a way that many practices uh, that we especially regarding uh, cooking uh, eating food items uh, etc such such things which we are daily uh, uh, as part of our day, uh, really, daily uh, routine. So what actually happen, happening now 
is the growth of science is restricted to its technological side only that's a, a major problem or a major defect of uh, modern science it's related more and more to technology or that soft side of the that improving the way human life of improving the ways of human life that is much restricted and the technological side is more and more uh, developing that's another uh, feature we can observe and not all technology but technologies which are marketable and profitable so that's another uh, issue those technologies are supported which are marketable and it should provides a profit so such technologies unfortunately the the science the growth of science is restricted to such and such areas so that's why the cost of uh, medication if the science we can say it as so advanced or so uh, modern then the cost of medicine and the cost of treatment should be progressively reduced but the opposite we can see it so it's become so enhancing day by day so new and new technologies or new and new inventions are uh, happening or uh, sponsored and those things are imposed as for the welfare of human beings and of course as a new technology it will be costlier and the modern science creates a disposable culture a throw away culture that also it eases our life in many ways but it creates a disposable culture use and throw culture just not uh, in the in in the ancient times because of uh, so many other uh, reasons and it creates varied forms of waste the creation of waste also as a by product of our uh, the scientific modern uh, tradition modern products so most of the products uh, are uh, creating in one way or other way uh, some kind of waste which cannot be disposed easily at a family level at our household so many many things are coming to are taken to our homes when we purchase something purchase some products so that's another aspect to be taken care of while discussing about the progress of science or the development of the present day science and most of the things are uh, become costly by many ways because uh, in every new addition there will be some new technology there are so many technology most technologies may be available but the latest technology will not be available for uh, people one technology will be introduced then after a period of 3 uh, months or 6 months a much advanced version and then and and such kind of a technique uh, is following or science is misusing for that so that's another aspect uh, regarding the growth of science so these are some basic thoughts on what is science and what is its nature so thanks for watching